lounge. Your visitor's waiting. Mr. Eversol, it's a pleasure to meet you in person after all this time. How are you? Excuse me. Yeah. Where are the dinosaurs? The dinosaurs are, uh, are en route. Oh, so am I supposed to sell these ones? You don't need to worry, okay? They will be here soon. I, I, I don't really work with amateurs, so I'm going to contact my buyers and call us off. They will be here tomorrow, and your buyers won't be disappointed. Trust me, whatever their interest, agricultural, industrial, sport hunting, we will have something to suit them. Eleven species, each with unique biopharmaceutical properties. I estimate four million per species. Four million is a slow Tuesday where I'm from. You're wasting my time. You ever made a hundred million on a Tuesday? <laughs> huh? All this is in the past. I want to talk to you about the future. I'll give you ten minutes. The whole point of selling the Eastland Nublar dinosaurs is to finance our future operations here. It's uh, seed money. Call it an, an overture to something much more ambitious. Yeah, and more lucrative, I guess. Right. We've reactivated the old facilities, updated the technology, and imported the best geneticists from around the world. This operation will be many years in the planet. Genetic power is an uncharted frontier. <laughs> the potential for growth is more than you can fathom. This way, please. If the entire run of Rosari history has taught us one irrevocable lesson, if the man is inevitably drawn to war and is willing to use any means necessary to win it. You're gonna weaponize them? We've been using animals in combat for centuries. Horses, elephants. The Soviets used disease-bearing rats against the Germans at Stalingrad. Yes, yes. Our geneticists have created a direct descendant of Henry Wu's masterpiece. The animal that took down Jurassic World. Indominus Rex. Her DNA, retrieved from the island way before its destruction, forms the architecture of a completely new creature. Every bone and muscle designed for hunting and killing, and thanks to Owen Grady's research, it follows human command. We call it the Indoraptor.